Okay, thoughtful question, thank you. So, first thing is, if you believe abortion is wrong, which, which you admitted it is, well then, you should obviously have laws that... I'll, I'll clarify, I didn't admit that abortion was wrong. Okay, I then, said, then, yeah, I see clarify. it as a form of self-defense. Okay, right, so, it, that's a new one. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're gonna be checking out Charlie Kek the big pro choice college students. Okay, this is gonna be amazing to watch on. Let's get right into it. This, but I found common ground with you on abortion and that I completely agree that, you know, whatever you wanna call it, a fetus at whatever stage it is, it's alive. Um, yeah. I'm happy I acknowledge that. There's no, there's no contention on that front. My concern though, and I wanna hear your perspective on this, is here in Texas, we have the strictest abortion ban in the whole country. There's no exception for rape or incest or for the life of the mother after six weeks. My concern is that the government is mandating that um, people carry out their pregnancies even when it goes against their own life and their own well-being. I can take an example of if, if somebody is threatening to harm you, you have a right to self-defense. Why not have the same, give the same autonomy to people who are pregnant? Okay. Thoughtful question, thank you. So, first thing is, if you believe abortion is wrong, which, which you admitted it is, well then, you should obviously have laws that... I'll, I'll clarify, I didn't admit that abortion was wrong. Okay, I then, just then, said, yeah, I see clarify. it as a form of self-defense. Okay, right, so, it, that's a new one. Self-defense. Well, <laughs> Never as, hate the, that as the previous person says, that, that, that person inside of you is completely dependent on you in a way different than a, a natural okay. born so, child. So in most cases, rape and incest aside, how did that being get there? I mean, in, in most cases through sex, regardless of rape or incest. Yeah, so there was a choice made. I see your point. Even with a choice, let's say you invite someone into your home and they still decide to assault you. Does that mean you not have a right to self-defense against them? Well, no, I think that, for example, if you have a bunch of teenagers over to your home and they start wrecking everything, you shouldn't be shocked when mm -hmm. all of a sudden you wake up the next morning and things are ex a little awry. But we're not just talking about wrecking at home. We're talking about wrecking your own body, your own personal well, autonomy. Well, hold on. Again, rape and incest aside, of which I'm happy to answer and happy to talk about the moral aspect of that, but 98% of all abortions are done as a form of birth control, right? Sure. It's a form of birth control. Sure. How did those people get pregnant? Usually through consensual sex. Right. So they, made, they, they are pro-choice. They made a choice to have consensual sex, mm -hmm. and now they want to be able to use scientific medical technology to crush to a being them. that is not them, is a different person out of convenience? Let's say you have a child who, is, who needs a kidney transplant, and you are the only one who can supply it, at, um, and, you, and you consensually allow them to use that kidney. What if the operation goes too long, they're still kind of using your blood for months on end? Should the government mandate, you know, maybe not kidney? I love these hypotheticals. I, I, I got it, I got it, not, not but, making but funny. But you see where No, you earlier see where I'm I going. got the most amazing hypothetical. I, we don't have to overthink this. Like, why should children get the death penalty because their parents decided to have consensual sex? I don't even, understand that. Even, sir, even if you consent to, say, taking care of your child through the, you know, transfusing blood or whatnot, should the government mandate that you have to continue that consensual blood transfusion? Again, under the unrealistic hypothetical, and I reject the whole premise of it's, this. The question is, let, 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 let me answer it more day. broadly. Do I think the government should step in to protect and preserve human right, if uh, by be it by mandating, especially when the question is termination or not? Of course the answer is yes. But it says a lot when I, there's a, there's a very serious concrete question and kind of we have to yield to these abstractions, which is fine, the philosophical sides and the kind of the hypotheticals are fine, are, are legitimate, I suppose, in some sense, but it comes to be just more concrete, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a million abortions every single year, okay? A million. 998,000 of them are because of a form of birth control. Do you find True. something wrong with that? Not necessarily. Okay, I think there is something wrong with that. I think that just looking at the last resort to be able to terminate human life as a form of birth control it's not just sick, it's immoral, and it says a lot about who we are as a people and kind of the folding of, culture, the fo folding of a cultural life in our nation. And so I'll just ask one final question. When does human life begin? It begins at conception, but that doesn't override the right to bodily autonomy and self-protection. Okay, so that's interesting. So you, you, it does begin at conception. 
So does that mean someone who is larger than another being has the right to terminate them? Because why, why is it bodily autonomy? Just because the being is in them? The, the size doesn't matter. It's, it's the self-defense. If, if, a, if a toddler is running a knife at you, you can knock it down. You know, it's... You ha I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of impromptu here as we That's keep okay. going. That's okay, yeah. Well, so I'll just close with this. Um, don't use that analogy again. Yeah, no, yeah. that was a, that was a yeah, bad one. Bad. Thank you for being here tonight. Yeah. Thanks. So the guy, um, point of the view, is kind of like, probably his girlfriend. He, has, he have a girlfriend now, and it's kind of like, help yourself out. If Casey's girlfriend is to have, get pregnant and is not ready yet, so I'm thinking about the choice of abortion and stuff. So he said, then tells us the abortion regulation is very high, <clears throat> very strict. Um, I understand that it should be strict in the first place. Ever since it should be strict, as soon as we will start now, abortion is something that should be dealt with. Because the rate of promiscuousness is really high. It is, it is high. When for the government itself to come together and say we should actually stop this abortion of a thing, it means the rate at which people are aborting babies it is extreme so they have to stop it that is why they pass such regulation out so even with that government number one is more is immoral for you to be having sex without getting married to your partner that is number one by the clay that is wrong um number two aborting a baby it's it's against human rights. I'll put it that way. It's against human rights. Because one, the baby itself, you call it fetus or embryo or whatever name you got to call it, it's it's alive. It's able to breathe in there. It's not just out yet. Every time I always talk about this abortion of it, saying you you have the rights over your body, truth be told. Everyone have the rights over their body. But when a child is growing inside you, you have the you have no rights over the child that is inside your body. The child has to come out alive. So you, you made an action, so you live by the consequences. So you, you don't just say it, it, it's an act of self-defense to take the child out. What, what matter of word is that using, using the word self-defense to kill an unborn baby? So it's, 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 a, it's a very hurtful word. And at the same time, I've seen a lot of women who did an abortion and they tend to regret it. They're the one who gave it to the baby. And they are, they are very happy after the baby has been born. So, if I'm a support abortion in any way, no, abortion is wrong. Very, 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 very wrong. There are different um, birth control methods you can use. There's condom, there's IUD, there's, there's, there's implants, there's other um, contraceptive methods you can use, birth control method, but you choose to go raw. The, the, the result of your action, of you going raw, is a baby. And now you are saying the baby um, you are killing it out of the way of self-defense. Like, who, who, does that make any sense? <laughs> Comment below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Main us. Can't subscribe to our channel. Um, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all